Science has always attracted humans from the beginning of the civilization. Questions from the composition of electrons to the origin of the universe has always puzzled the human brain. And the people who solve such puzzles are called the scientists. But what picture comes to your mind when you hear this term? Of course, the most common thoughts will drive you towards Western scientists like Einstein or Newton. But aren't we missing a country which is called the grandmother of science? The world is still unaware of the great Indian scientists. And so are the Indians. Hence, this video series aims at presenting before you the secret scientists of India. Born to the royal family of Khandapada in Odisha, India on 13th December 1835, Samanta Chandrasekhar can be called the jewel among ancient Indian scientists. Fondly known as Pathani Samanta, he started identifying stars at a very early age. By the time he was 15, he learned to calculate the path of planets and other celestial objects. Samantha's observations were not just different from the previous assumptions, but are also surprisingly close to the modern values. Apart from this, the fact that he had no access to modern instruments like the telescopes made it more strange. Pathani Samanta wrote all his discoveries in his book named Siddhanta Darpana. Initially written in Odia at the age of 34, he kept on improving it and translated it into the Devanagari script by 1899 at the age of 64. This book comes in the series of previous scientific manuals like Surya Siddhanta and Siddhanta Siromani written by Vaskara II. What separates Chandrasekhar from other scientists was that his observations are still comparable with the modern data and his predictions in positional astronomy are in fair agreement with the actual occurrence of events even today. Now as we are aware of the worth and background of this great personality, let's move on to the scientific achievements of Pathani Samanta. In order to have a brief idea about his scientific discoveries, we need to follow his book Siddhanta Darpana. This book has 24 chapters, divided in 5 sections with a total of 2500 verses or slokas. The 5 sections of the book are as follows Madhyadhikara, Sputadhikara, Triprasnadhikara, Goladhikara, and Kaladhikara. Madhyadhikara deals with the angular speed required by a body to complete one orbit, that is mean motion. It has four chapters and 204 verses or slokas. Sputadhikara deals with the position of planets and has two chapters with 372 verses or slokas. Triprasnadhikara is about motion with respect to space, 
टाइम एंड डायरेक्शन एंड हैज नाइन चैप्टर्स विथ सेवन थर्टी सिक्स वर्सेस और श्लोक गोलाधिकार विच इज मेंट फॉर स्पेरिकल ट्रिगोनोमेट्री हैज सिक्स चैप्टर्स एंड नाइन हंड्रेड वन वर्सेस और श्लोकस कालाधिकार और द फिफ्थ सेक्शन हैज थ्री चैप्टर्स विथ टू हंड्रेड एटी सेवन वर्सेस और श्लोकस एंड डील्स विद द प्रोसेस ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग टाइम नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन अ लिटिल डीपर इन द सेवेंटींथ वर्स और श्लोक ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर सामंत स्पीक्स अबाउट टाइम बिगनिंग फ्रॉम द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट दैट इज ट्रूटी which is equal to 0.274348 into 10 to the power minus 6 second to praya which is equal to 10 to the power 13 solar years along with that he says about motion of celestial objects like planets and the revolution orbits alignments and eclipses with relevant mathematical calculation at the end he also questions about the origin of the universe apart from all these he also found a near exact position of mars mercury and saturn the position that he suggested are also more accurate than any previous observation he also found the exact ratio of earth's distance from the sun and moon this value is much closer to the modern value he also found near exact position of the junction stars of all the 28 nakshatras or constellations these positions are also found to be significantly close to the modern data he was also one of the only indian scientists to speak about the venus transit venus transit takes place when planet venus passes directly between the sun and a superior planet like earth the great scientist predicted the precision of earth's axis to be 49 seconds 0.179 while the modern value is 50 seconds 0.3 per year he also gave the most accurate observations about the inclination of the orbits of other planets one more thing that glorifies pathani samanta is that he had no access to the modern instruments it was because of this he created 10 new instruments of his own some of them are chakra yantra used to measure time chapa yantra also used to measure time and so is the golardha yantra swayambhava yantra is used as a water clock Sanku and Mana Yantra are used to measure longitude, latitude, altitude, and angular distance between celestial objects. There are a lot more discoveries that are mentioned in his book. At the end, he completed the book with a challenge to the Western scientists to prove him wrong. Samantha. passed away in 1904 leaving behind a great scientific treasure to be studied by the entire world unfortunately very few people know about this devotee of science in the world thereby making him the secret scientist of india i wish this video was successful in providing some unknown facts about this unknown wonder if you appreciate the effort please do click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel 
this will definitely encourage global affairs to continue this effort seeking permission till a new video namaskar